Hello everybody, welcome back to Food of Dad Cubed. Right, today I'm gonna to make a lovely cake, a chocolate and cherry cake, yeah? It's got no dairy in it at all. It's vegan free, well vegan free, but that means it's vegan to eat it, no bloody dairy in it at all, it is a cracker, yeah? But it tastes lovely. All right, let me show the ingredients. Right, here we go, here's the ingredients, yeah? We've got some cocoa powder, we've got these old things here, we've got a baking powder, and we've got the, um, the bicodent of soda, wherever that is, I think I said that right, vanilla extract, some granulated sugar, some plain flour, some sunflower oil, sunflower oil, and uh, some vinegar, some some um, uh, cider vinegar, and a soy milk. And that's this is what makes the sponges. You yeah? make a couple of sponges, all right? And that's it. Right, this is for the frosting. Yeah, it goes on top of the cake. Yeah, it's got vanilla extract in this one. We've got a jam. It's like a conserve the old jam. You know, it's a it's a it's a, um, uh, a cherry one, cherry conserve. It's called. It's just jam, really. Yeah, we've got the soy spreads and we've got the icing sugar. And that's it. Right, this is the stuff that goes on top of the cake just to make it just to make it look pretty. It does have a nice taste as well. We've got some free form chocolate on buttons here and some lovely cherries. Cherries in season at the moment as well, so they are lovely. Really, really sweet and gorgeous, yeah? Let's get these and dip them in the glass. Beautiful. I'll show you how to do it. Right, okay, look, this is done in stages now. I presume it's all just chemically, yeah? So it builds itself up. First of all, soy milk. Goes in a nice mixing bowl. Set the camera and shut it towards the bottom. Beautiful. Then you boss your old vinegar in. Right, and that's what you do that is you mix this until the, 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 the milk starts to go a bit a bit curdly actually with the vinegar in there. So just keep on mixing that. So it goes just a little little turd, I think it is. We can call it a day now. That's good. Right, next goes in is the sugar. Goes on top. The oil. Goes in, beautiful. And the old vanilla extract. It all goes in, that's a lovely thing one. Let's put that in there, beautiful. And again, more stirring. It says, keep on stirring <laughs> until it goes foamy. Well, I'm foamy already, so I'll stir it for a little bit longer. Right, that is gorgeous. That's nice and foamy on top. Right, let's do that. Just set this aside and get yourself another bowl. That's what we've got to do now. We've got to sift through, we've got to sift the powder through. Just talk amongst yourselves while I'm doing this. Put kettle on, have a cuppa, have a sherbet dab, I don't care. Do what you want to do. Nearly there. Put music on. La, 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 la. music on <laughs> Right, that's nearly done. We'll just get bored this last little bit. I want to go, it's gone. And this with that is a cocoa powder, goes on top. Beautiful, this is quite light out cocoa powder, so look at the rest of that in there. Sip that bugger. Look at that bugger. Sip that beautiful brown smelling gorgeous stuff. Oh, just get rid of all the lumps. Gotta get rid of all the lumps. Come on, lumps. Go lumps, go, 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 go. Do me bored. Right, it's beautiful. That's what we do there. Let's just sift the old rest in, the old car barcode and all that crap. And oh, by the way, there's a bit of pinch of salt as well. I will put it in the recipe. I forgot to mention the old ingredient holes. All right, that goes in there. Right, this all gets put back into the to the bowl. Remember the bowl? This boy, bad boy here. Jamie Lewis says that. Can't say that. It's his feet, mate. Bad boy, bad boy, bad boy. <laughs> right, this gets, this is, just mix this in a little bit. This whole thing here. So it doesn't all clog it up, yeah? Doesn't need a lot of mixing. And it just gets all put into the into the um all the old soy milk in there, yeah? So just wash that in there. So I can remember a bum. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, you can see when I the bottom of the bum. Bottom of the bowl. Right, just put one side. Right, this thing, don't over mix this, but try to just fold it in nicely, yeah? Just fold it in so it's all nice and mixed. Right, this is all mixed nicely. This just goes into some baking tins now. A couple of baking tins and stuck in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes on 170 C. Okay? So this has just got to go into the old baking tins. Let's put it in there. Nicely done in there. I opened about, that's why I've done is I've just spoon mine, so I can't eat how many spoons are in which. With a bit of luck, it might be okay. <laughs> so that's what you do with this one. You know how to do this, you get the old butter. I've even used the soy butter around here. Then the parchment on top and we stick these in the oven. As I said, back quarter of an hour to 20 minutes on 170 C. Let's stick them in the oven. Right, here we go. This time I've got to get the old power tool out now. I can't use this thing now. 
Right, that's enough of that all. <laughs> Tell what I was doing there. Right, pat all time. That's what we're gonna do now. Butter goes first, and we're gonna just mix this into a nice buttery, buttery, buttery icing. Yeah, it'd be perfect. Right, butter goes in first. Just a teaspoonful of the old vanilla extract. Just pour. I've only got a little bit of the bottle, so probably pour it in. Perfect. Right, on top of that, we're gonna mix that in just a little bit, just mash it down a bit. So it's gonna. It's got to room temperature, and this stuff, this soya butter, doesn't hold its form too much. As you can see. Right, goes in there. Beautiful. Right, so get the ice in, just about half, half in first of all, yeah, the ice and sugar. It's very light, it's as light as air. This, this, I mean, it's in crap in. I won't say crap, I'll say this sugar. Then you've got to bring the old power tool into it, and it goes everywhere. All right, right, oh, a bit of a cow, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the old little whisk, because it, it does. Go everywhere this. You get the old butter mixed in first of all and start creaming with the other instrument. Makes me feel better. It'll probably make the camera feel better as well. <laughs> so I feel it's gonna go everywhere. Right, one. Nice and gentle, gentle. Perfect. That's a lovely. That soy butter just, just goes perfect. I think I'm ready for the other half of the sugar, I think. <laughs> it's snowing! Should have done that just a tiny bit more smaller. Smaller? Slower. What? You want me to use these? Okay, alright, oh, I'm gonna use these in. Bring it back to the centre. Number one. Oh yeah, oh yeah! It's there. It's only a little bit going about. I can clean the room. That's perfect! Don't panic, that's the best thing, I think. Don't panic, you that stuff flying everywhere. Whew. You see for that snowstorm. Beautiful. Get away in there. Gorgeous. Right, it's been about a couple of minutes. Looking nice and buttery. Perfect. It's been a couple of minutes, looking nice and buttery. I think that will do nicely. Quick taste. Mm, that is beautiful. That is really nice, lovely. Right, here we go. This is for the, the, the bit on top, a nice bit of magic on top of the cake here. Yeah? I mean, that's what I've done. Just melt some that tree foam chocolate, free foam chocolate. Yeah, get the cherries, and just dip them in. And get a nice bit of chocolate on them. Beautiful, and stick them on there. And that is how it goes to it. Just like that, as Tommy used to say. Right, nice bit of chocolate on them, so get a nice bit of chocolate on the bite, yeah? Put these in the fridge now until we're ready to put it all together. Right, cake's out of the oven now. I've took them out of the tins. I'm going to let them cool right away down, yeah? And nice and just really touching, they spring, spring back again, which is gorgeous. Just exactly what we want. Right, so put these aside again. Let everything just cool down, and we put the cake together and do some tasting. Right, here we go. The, the cake's cooled down lovely. It is a risk as I think it should be as much as it should, yeah? But it's my first attempt, so I'm gonna call it a day anyway. It's lovely. Right, get a frosting, I eat the cream. Put about half of it in the old middle there. This is the old in, in, in the finger. This is the gungy bit where you bite into and such like. You know what I mean? Beautiful, look at that. <laughs> right, that goes like that. We bring the next one in. Right, this is the top, this is the top, so I will put a layer of jam on this one. Perfection. Well, that's what we do now. We push this on top on the, on the other one, and we, we frost the top. Beautiful. Right, so the cake, the cake broke a little bit, the heat it over. It's quite, quite hard to do. It's not, a, not like a normal sponge, it's like a little, a little softy sponge, really. Well, my version is anyways. So I keep on saying this thing, this is my version of this cake. <laughs> Right, just spread that out a little bit, so that's gonna be, this is your topping. Right, that's it, I've put the rest of the old icing on there, the old frosted cream, whatever you want to call it, butter icing, let's call it butter icing. A bit of jam I've left over, I just popped to the top there. So I've never got to do, just get these, these little lovely gems here, and just put them round, I think. You can do this, as I said before, whatever you want to do. Yeah, I've left a little base on these on purpose. <laughs> so they start the cake. Right, here we go. This is beautiful cake. My first dairy-free vegan cake, yeah? Cherries in the old black, the old chocolate, what ain't chocolate. It is chocolate, it's got cocoa powder, so it's lovely, yeah? They're not too bad. I'm not much of an artist. Let's have a taste. Right, here we go. 
the tasting. I do like the taste. I mean, it's the first cake I've ever tasted like this, I must admit. So it's, fingers crossed. It looks quite nice. I wanted to rise just a bit more, but probably in the beaten or something. Like it's, it's tasty, anyway. Hmm. Surprise. Really surprised. The sponge is tasty. Very, very soft. Oh, beautiful. Truly, truly beautiful, this one. Oh, very sickly as well. Mm, I love that. Oh, perfect. Really good. I can do some more of these things, the old, the old stuff in them and all the old vegan stuff and all that. You know what I mean? Why not? It's good. See you all later on. Bye.